This is Dracot 8. We are heading up to this project, which is pretty unique and distinct in nature. The layout is very straight cut and efficient. The definition of luxury definitely is space. All right, so we are here, but before I show you the lint, the lint, the lint. What did he say? <laughs> This is Dracot 8. We are heading up to this project which is pretty unique and distinct in nature because not only do you get luxury living sprawling on 153,000 square feet of land size but the density is amazing because there's only 136 units right here. I think you're going to enjoy this home tour especially if you're looking to live in the Dracot Claymore area. Let's go. Alright, so we are here, but before I show the interior layout of this 2 beta at 1173 square feet, I definitely have to bring you to the balcony first because this is the key highlight of Dracot 8. Just have a look at this sprawling landscape that you have. Now, the land size is fantastic because this is 153,000 square feet, which is pretty rare to find in Orchard. It was completed in the year 2005. So, land is 99 years, starting from 1997. There are only 136 residential units here. 91 of them are 4 bathers, and 45 of them are 2 bathers. Why is Draycourt popular? It's because it's just right beside Tangling Country Club. As you go down from Draycourt towards Claymore, and you hit towards Shaw Towers, that is of course the main Orchard shopping belt with Orchard MRT tucked right beneath. In the next two years, when Thompson East Coast Line is going to be completed, Orchard Updation is of course going to be one of the key highlights. And the interesting thing is that in terms of its distribution, there are only three predominant types of floor plans. Basically, the two beta, the two beta loft kind of floor plan, and the four beta. So three towers, as you can see, we are standing at this tower called the Sky Suites Tower, which are made up of predominantly the two betas. This kind of layout that we are in is mainly at stack number two, and we are fronting towards the clubhouse zoning. Flanking us on the left and right hand side, those are predominantly the loft units kind of two beta. And if you are looking for a quantum entry into the Claymore area, this is definitely one of the key floor plan layouts that you want to have. Now the next bigger size will be the 4 betas. They are at the other two towers. These are called the Sky Villa Towers 1 and 2. And the moment you drive in, that is the cascading water feature right over there. And that's being fronted by the 50 meters Olympic size lap pool. Sitting on top of it, this is the 1920s colonial bungalow that is reconserved. And within this clubhouse, there are tons of facilities right there. It is housing the function room, the reading room, the sauna, the onsen. You even have a billets room. Gymnasium is right there as well. Something about this project is that every lobby has its own concierge service. Together with the clubhouse, you can call down to to your concierge and the staff there will be able to assist you if you have any needs for laundry, you want to book certain kinds of facilities, you want to call for transportation services, concierge is there ready to assist you. Let's flip over a little bit. You have a full-size tennis court right there at the corner. Barbecue pits right towards that corner so not affecting any other block. Over at that corner, that's the kids pool. Now, if you were to come home, you'll notice that there are two basement parking. You will park at basement one if you drive. Basement two are reserved for residents as well as visitors. So very nice nice parking facilities that has been done up and most importantly the entire facility zone is also above the road line so when you swim at the pool when you enjoy your weekends on the lawn area and in the clubhouse nobody can see you from the road line level so so let's start from the private lift so every unit right here gives you a private lift access the exit door is also right tucked at this direction towards the service lift lobby. So if you have delivery, all this will come through here. Private lift, of course, done with security and you still have your own main dorm. So this private lobby area definitely is the place for you to put in your shoe, carpentry work. And if you notice, the moment you come in, the layout is very straight cut and efficient. This is what we call the barbell layout. There are no walkways towards the bedroom, just a short little walkway towards the common room and your common bathroom. But most importantly, you get to enjoy this huge rectangle right in the middle with the dining space right here and carpentry has already been done on the right hand side six panels top and bottom and of course the central portion being a display cabinet and you can even put in a huge wine cellar right here and as you come to the living space you have the chest of drawers right at that direction tv console space and you can really feel 
the size of this space and something to take note of course is the ceiling height being very generous even after a full scale of four ceiling has been installed with a beautiful down lights and the drop down ceiling light you still have that generous room space the balcony is not too huge you don't get like that wide span balcony a good size enough for a small little outdoor table and two chairs. There's a bonus feature. These are four panels of carpentry space that you can put in more storage. And that as well, another three to four panels right here. So it's nicely done up. You do get this floor to ceiling window that allows you to overlook towards the lawn space. In terms of its facing, this is towards the northeast direction because you don't get any direct afternoon sun. The bedrooms are all fronting towards northeast, similarly to the living space. Flooring wise, clean cut all the way starting from the private lobby. You get premium timber wood flooring all the way towards your bedroom. When you want to live in Orchard, some of the projects right here, which are larger scale in fashion, most of the projects in Draycott, in Claymore, they are very huge in size. For example, the Draycott behind us, which is an older freehold development, apartments right there are all going above $5 million. And if you were to look at Eden, which hit the news headline in 2021, the units right there have all been transacted above the $4,500, $5,000 per square foot range. And uh, of course, if you were to look at what is launching right now within the CCR era, we are still in a range whereby the PSF has not surpassed the last peak and uh, OCR region, RCR region, they have already surpassed its own last peak pricing in terms of pricing index. So we think that this season, from 2021 moving forward towards 2022, CCR is prime for growth in terms of PSF. If you're entering into a CCR region, you want a large size unit, you want to go for at least a thousand square feet, this is very suitable for you. Something about this master room is pretty unique is that it's done with a sliding panel feature. It doesn't have the huge uh, timber door for you to open outwards, so this is a more efficient kind of flow. If you notice, the definition of luxury definitely is space. Have a look at this space that you have. I think there's no complaint about the amount of space that you'll get in your master room. King bed, you have this L corner, which you can do up a few different combinations. So let's have a look at some of the combinations that you can do with the bay window. I think there's three key options. One is to top up wardrobes right here. Of course, when you top up wardrobes, some of the windows might have to be sacrificed. Second option is to do an L corner, kind of study table or dressing unit, having the elevation a little bit outwards and you can put in two chairs right here. Third option, of course, is to do additional storage space up to about this height so you don't sacrifice the entire window span and then that will then give you an amount of pull-out drawers that you can have to store in more linens and clothes. So over here, you have two sets of wardrobe space and the first set is over at this direction <laughs> and the second set is at this corner. Right here at the bed head, this is also done with a little bit more heritage style. And Attached ensuite, standing shower configuration, marble flooring, marble wall tiles, these are all done very nicely. Now let's flip over and head into the kitchen right here. You have a separate yard, you have your own refuse chute right within a corner for your washer cup dryer. Another tuck in corner for your fridge space. And of course this portion right here, tall cabinets for more storage within your kitchen. And these are all Miller appliances, cooker hood and hob, induction stove, oven is right at this corner. You also have a dishwasher that's built in, marble finishings right at the backsplash, marble flooring starting from the kitchen even into your utility room so you have a utility room your DV box is right inside it's tucked further into the corner you can close up a wooden bifold door if you want to enclose it you can do that you can tuck in the sliding panel door right here because there's a little bit more wall space over there but end of the day if you love open kitchen concept this is great Have a look at this prime hexagon, the six zonings right here, starting from MBS, Greater Southern Waterfront, One North, Holland, Bukitima, and last but not least, Orchard Zoning. What do we mean by prime hexagon? The government is planting in a lot of transformation within these six different zonings. And if you were to buy a property within these six different zonings, we think that these six areas are prime for growth potential over the next 10 years. 
So what are some of the key options that you have if you want to go for a quantum of about 2.5 mil and then you want to go in the range of about 2,000 odd to square foot? We think that there are some options right here apart from Dracot 8. You can go to this smaller development called JC at Dracot. You can also go to another project called Up at Dracot. Apart from these two other projects, the rest of the freehold apartments right here, they are larger in terms of overall quantum. They are also huge in terms of overall PSF compared to the 99 years counterpart right here in Dracot 8. So Dracot 8 has a balance, although it's 99, but it balances out in terms of its luxury, land size, plus architecture. You're not just buying this apartment, you're really buying the entire landscape downstairs and of course the concierge service that you have. So this corner here gives you your common bath and common bath is really in pristine condition with marble flooring as well as wall tiles. Standing shower tucked in the corner. As you come to the common room, the area to put in your queen bed is towards this direction. So you can put in a queen bed, four panel wardrobes is tucked right at this corner. You still have this wall line here for additional storage space. If not, you can flip over the bed to this direction, having a bed head fronting towards the window zoning. Thank you for staying with us throughout the home tour. We hope that you enjoy this time at Dracot 8. Now, if you want to have a look at this place, give a call to our listing manager. I'm going to bring you to the balcony while we end the home tour. Our content is all on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. Thank you for following Property Living Brothers channel. If you want to have a look at some deep dive research and reports, have a look at propertylinbrothers.com slash insights. And once again, my name is Melvin Lim, Property Living Brothers. As always, happy to show the place. Meantime, take care. Let me just open the balcony door free. Oh. Alright, so we are here, but before I show you the 